In this video, I'll walk you through the basics of using effect layers in Artivize Bridge Editor. These effect layers are designed to help artists and creatives easily create augmented reality art, even without animation skills. The effect layer system in the Bridge Editor is designed to simulate things like rain, clouds, flames, sparkles, and more. By customizing settings, you can effortlessly add movement to your creations, giving your photos a dynamic touch right from home. Change the position of the effect layer, save your artwork, and experience it through the Art of Eye app. Let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. First, open Bridge by Art of Eye and click on Create Artwork. Add a trigger image, this is the artwork that when scanned through the Art of Eye app, activates the augmented reality experience. It can be a photo, a drawing, or any image you like. For this tutorial, I've prepared an illustration with multiple image layers. And now I'll start adding effect layers to create an atmosphere around my artwork. Click on the effect layer icon. By clicking on load from a template, you can choose from various pre-made options. I'll select the sparkle effect and switching to the 3D view so I have a more advanced setting panel. On the right, you'll find the settings for this template, which you can customize to match your desired effect. In the shape settings, you can modify the shape of the effects flow. I'll start by resizing the shape by adjusting the X, Y, and Z values, simply by dragging left or right. Notice how the shape in the scene becomes larger, and the effect layer will be spawned within it. Next, let's adjust the start color values. Click on the color swatch to open the color wheel. Choose any color, then click select. I'll do the same for the secondary color. Now you'll see that some of the sparkles are almost white, while others are a lighter yellow. Now, let's change the lifetime. This determines how long each sparkle remains visible. As you can see, there are two values. I'll set the first one to 0.2, meaning some sparkles will disappear after 0.2 seconds, and the second to one, meaning others will last up to one second. You can see how this affects the flow of particles, adding diversity to the effect. Next, I'll adjust the start size, this controls the initial size of each sparkle. I'll set the first value to 0.03, so some sparkles are small, and the second value to 1.5. Notice how the sparkles in the scene are now smaller. Finally, to keep things organized, I'll rename this layer. I always name my layers to make them easier to find when working with multiple layers. Let's call this one, Sparkles. You can also duplicate your effect layers. I'll duplicate the sparkle layer because I like the current settings. By clicking on Effect Image, I'll select a different one to add depth to my artwork. Moving forward, let's create a fire effect with fire embers. We have pre-made templates for the fire effect, and in the effect layer settings, you can customize these as well. With the transform tools, you can move, rotate, and scale the elements. Start by resizing the effect to fit your artwork. In the lifetime settings, you can also adjust the color using the gradient editor. Additionally, you can tweak the fading and size of the effect. Notice how the movement of the fire effect changes by picking different gradients and curves for the effect. Once I'm happy with the fire design, I'll add fire embers from the effect templates to introduce more movement to my artwork. Again, with the help of the transform tools, I'm moving the fire ember effect above the fire. You can adjust the effect on the right as well by dragging the values left or right. You can add as many effects as you like. Finally, I'm adding one more effect to my artwork. The shining point from the templates, which adds a subtle glow to the moon and the lamp. I'll adjust the light size and color to match my artwork style. I will place it between my layers to add a glow effect to the moon layer further in the artwork. I'm duplicating the effect and doing the same with the lamp layer. See how the effect has changed the environment. Once you're happy with your design, name your artwork and click publish, your Artify creation is ready. As you can see, adding effects to your artwork has never been easier with Bridge by Artivive. With the Artivive app, you can experience your artwork in augmented reality by scanning your artwork. Bring your art to life with Artivive and share your creations with us. Thank you for watching.
Stay tuned for more exciting content in our next video.